Now it is, we have got our own sets of rules about people, about friends. He is my friend, he is not really my friend, I want to spend more time with him. We judge people and we decide whom we are going to love. Among our friends, in our office, tomorrow when you go and start working or wherever. Why does this happen? This happens because we look at the negative sides of the people and we are not comfortable with that. Now, I would like to tell you something. Human beings are all flawed. There is no human being in, in this world who is not flawed. We are all flawed creatures. All the people who have come before us to this world have been flawed. Now we are flawed and the future also will have flawed people. Even our epics, for example, Mahabharata and Ramayana, we draw so much of inspiration from these two books, don't we? Name one character in these books who was not flawed. Can anyone name any character from Mahabharata and Ramayana who was not flawed? The answer is no. Everybody is flawed. Someone very recently, one of the one of the pop singers in America, I remember reading last year, has coined a new term called, called flossom. So not awesome. Human beings are flossom. We are all awesome with flaws. I would like to add a kind of a rejoinder to it. We are flawtastic. Right? We are fantastic. So we've got flaws. And when we know this, we, we, will, we will be able to view other person in a completely different light. We will be able to accept everybody around us and love everyone around us. Not for the weaknesses that they have, but the strengths that they have. Because you only keep the love that you give.